how long should you leave between blood tests for things such as glucose and cholesterol? Cholesterol. How long would you recommend for clients that are coming and seeing Cholesterol, blood three blood months. Three months? Yeah. Isn't that the half-life of the... Not half-life. Um, you talking about drug or...? <laughs> yeah, not the half-life. <laughs> <laughs> the, shut up. Um, what's the term? It's on my tongue. Anyway, three months for cholesterol and HbA1c. Okay. Only HbA1c, not for cholesterol. Three months is too long. Well, it depends on what you're doing. Like what? You're talking like trees rather than oh, just or LDL. A little bit lipid profile wise. Yeah, but. Mm -hmm. I agree, three months for HBA, I disagree with cholesterol. So why? How often? What? Weekly? No, nah, two months. <laughs> six weeks. I'm sorry. Four to six weeks. <laughs> why? Motivation for client change is, is a good early. Yeah, that's great. Right. But like, and it also doesn't take very long for it to change. Triglycerides can change like literally. Yes, they can change quickly. That's why I said, what about trees? Yes. But yes. it also but. doesn't change. It doesn't take long to change your lipids. The other reason is, you know, they're in, you're in the right direction as well with their dietary yeah. change. Yeah. But it also helps with motivation. In three months, I could get some great change though. Whereas your red blood cells obviously have a life of three months. And so therefore it makes sense to only do it then. But how would you know when they're dying, when they're regenerating, like at what time point? So obviously that's an average and doesn't represent them dying at that time point. Like basically, so what do you call that. Yeah, so was it just talking about the life of the red blood cells? So yeah, just half life that why miss, Yeah. So if someone comes spoke. to see you, I suppose. I had someone today. When do I get my next blood test? Yeah, but it's so easy to just do three months. But if you're doing something more intensive, I guess. But yeah. Yeah, and that, I guess that's where I come from as well. Yeah. And generally, GP's recommendations around blood tests are around funding and what they think is an appropriate time frame versus when it should be taken, unfortunately. So that's yeah, why sometimes... That's why they do like a yearly health check. Sometimes you get these six months, you're not going to get many that do three months just because. Well, I do... HBA and C probably, but not Those that are wanting to get off medication like cholesterol medication, um, generally the GPs are pretty flexible with that and they say, all right, well, cool, I want you to test it here and then we'll think about maybe modifying it. So, um, Hopefully they're referred to a dietitian. Yeah, look, most of them do, that's pretty clear cut, unless mm -hmm. the person doesn't want to go and see a dietitian. So, Some doctors are pretty stubborn. Yeah, so that's my recommendation for those two measures. Sweet. Mm.